Are you ready to go five pounds down? Well, today we're gonna get in shape and gain confidence with weights. Grab your dumbbells and let's go. All right, beautiful bees, go ahead and have your dumbbells completely out of the way and let's get moving and grooving with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend and around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving through the world in ways that feel like love. And you guys, you know what feels like love? Finding that healthy weight with the 5-0 method where every single day we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea. It could be this simple to lose weight after 50. Every single day, we eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. Every single day, we drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in fluid ounces of water. Every single day, we get the right amount of sleep by going to bed at the same time every night, getting up at the same time every morning, and not worrying about how much in between that was actual sleep, because sometimes it's not. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Every single day, we exercise moderately. <sighs> with a beautiful workout like this one that I am so looking forward to. And every single day, we manage our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. Because my friend, I mean this with so much love, you have a lot of unhelpful thoughts. We all do. I was just reading something very recently about how something like 80% of our thoughts are negative. And I, I mean, if you think about that, you're probably not surprised. But anyways, here's what we're gonna talk about today. I have a thought for you that saves me a lot of mental drama and I'm hoping that it will feel helpful for you. And here it is. I don't have to do anything. Now, I know how you probably heard that because <laughs> I heard it this way when I read it myself this morning. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. I don't mean that you can do nothing. I mean that you don't have to, like must. There's no imperative. You don't have to should on yourself. You don't have to do anything. However, there's probably lots of things that you want to do, which is a very different conversation. Here's, here's how I noticed that this could be a helpful thought, is because I noticed the opposite. When I tell myself, oh, I have to film a workout today, I have to record a podcast today, I have to get ready for something or other, all those have tos feel terrible. That's how you know if a thought is unhelpful, is if it doesn't feel good. If a thought feels delicious and lovely and warm and comforting, that is a helpful thought. And hey, let me tell you about our workout and then we'll talk more about what you don't have to do. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here. So for intervals of 45 seconds, oh my gosh, we're going in repeating pairs of exercises. Today is all strength all the time and I have been looking forward to this for three days now because I designed this workout three days ago and I was eager to do it. And then, and then life happened. So let's go ahead and get moving. I've got step back side punches. Let's go ahead and grab those dumbbells. I'm gonna get the timer going and here's what I mean by a step back side punch. I mean that we're stepping back and twisting to the opposite side. So you're twisting across your body and punching wherever you can punch. Now here's the thing, you are absolutely welcome to do this like an actual like reverse lunge. I'm not, I'm just stepping back. For me, stepping back, it's a little bit difficult on my balance. Added with that twist, boy oh boy are we really working our abs, our core, our glutes, our balance, our proprioception, which is how we know where we are in space and time. When it beeps again, we get to keep moving forward. We're gonna do a delt raise high knee, which means that we're gonna have our dumbbells down at our waist with our palms facing our body. We're gonna bring those dumbbells up while we are also bringing up one high knee. So hands down, palms facing your body. Hands come up until they land somewhere like under your chin while you bring up one high knee at a time. Make sure that core is pulled in tight. You notice that we are going nice and, I'm gonna say slow because that's the word that came to my mind and so therefore it's gonna come out of my mouth. I would not call it this slow. I would call this considerate, deliberate. We're moving at a strength pace where we're really thinking, where are the muscles that I'm using? Where is my body? What's going on with my body? Is my core pulled in? Can I still breathe? Am I thinking about where I am and what I'm doing? Because that, my friend, is how we actually make muscles. By the way, when it beeps again, we're doing that step back, side punch one more time. Each pair of exercise, we are repeating just the once. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then here we go. Step back, side punch. Now, here's the thing. Like literally every exercise we ever do ever, if you don't like twisting or this doesn't just feel quite right, feel free to modify this, make this your own. You can 
punch forward, you could punch down, you could do no punching at all. Just stepping back sometimes is plenty of work for me and my brain. Today, because I have been looking forward to this for the last three days, I have been, <laughs> let's just say, I have been recovering amply over the last three days, meaning that I've done almost no workouts at all because every day I kept thinking, oh, I'm filming today. I have to film today. And then it didn't get done for one reason or another, because sometimes that's what happens. Here we go with those delt raise high knees for the second and final time. So I have not been doing very much exercise. I am raring to go today. Sometimes that happens, and sometimes you guys comment, gee, I think Paula had a lot of coffee today. <laughs> I didn't, I had my normal amount, which is to say half decaf, half calf. And sometimes I'm still moving at a pace or with weights or in a way that just doesn't work for you. Always, always, always feel free to modify, moderate, make it your own. When it beeps again, we're doing sumo X's, gonna have our feet almost uncomfortably wide, gonna come down into a sumo squat with our hands down while we do that. As we stand up from the sumo squat, we're gonna put our hands out up atop like the letter X. So feet almost uncomfortably wide, come down into that sumo squat as we stand up. Really think about pulling from the middle of your back. And boy, oh boy, when we've got our feet spread out this wide and our arms spread out this wide at above shoulder height, you really wanna make sure that your core is pulled in nice and tight. Now here's the thing, I've heard what I just said. You want to make sure. Do you love how I said you want? because you do want that, don't you? You want to not get, exer not get exercise. No, you do want to exercise. <laughs> you want to not get injured. <laughs> What's the word I was trying to say there? When it was again, we're doing cross body crunches. Gonna have weights up on our shoulders, reaching your opposite elbow towards your opposite knee. And here we go with those cross body crunches. Opposite elbow towards your opposite knee, crunching down in the middle. Go ahead and let your chest curl down and your leg pull up as high as you can, bringing that knee all the way to your elbow if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. Make it work for you, my friends. All of these exercises, you don't have to do anything. What you might want to do is the way it works for you. And this, to me, when I first, when I first understood this concept, understood about have to versus want to, at first I was like, okay, that just sounds like an affirmation. There are things that I have to do. I have to get my kids from school. I have to feed everybody. I have to clean my house. I have to do things. And here's... Here's the way I finally heard it. Here we go, by the way, with sumo X's again. <laughs> the way I finally heard this was thinking about how much power that was giving away to my circumstances, to my life, to my kids, to the house, to my job, to everything else but me. The fact is I did actually want to feed my kids. I did actually want to pick them up. I actually, uh, okay. Aside from the traffic at their schools, I loved picking them up from school because then everything that happened that day was really fresh in their minds. That seven minute drive home, I got more information out of them about who was talking to who and what was going on and all the gossip and everything that had happened that day than I did like the rest of the night. For me, I really did actually want to, here we go with crossbody crunches, I really did want to pick them up from school. However, because I didn't like the traffic, because I didn't like, like the act of stopping my day in the middle of my day to go get them, I would say, oh, I have to pick up my kids. As soon as I realized that I actually wanted to, that it was to my benefit, let's be honest here, it all comes down to me. <laughs> when it was to my benefit, then of course I wanted to. When it beeps again, we're doing side raise, high knees. So both of your hands are gonna start at your sides with your palms facing your body. You're gonna raise each arm out to the side at the same time. I said that like it was one at a time, but it's both of them at once. While we raise both arms, we are also bringing one knee up in front of you. Okay, so feet about hip width apart, whatever feels comfortable to you. Core pulled in nice and tight. Here we go with side raise, high knees. I have to tell you, we have been done doing umbrella openers for so long now, like I love umbrella openers where you're going forward and sideways with your arms. Raising both arms out to the side feels really different, right? <laughs> so funny. We get used to doing things a certain way. We get used to saying things a certain way. And I want you to recognize that I have to might just be a verbal habit of yours. You might just say it like that because you think it like that. But when you recognize that it doesn't feel great to say that, 
And then when you substitute, not always, sometimes there are things you don't really want to do. What we're going to do right now is a squat press. Hands right here about your shoulders. Feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. It feels comfortable to me. We're going to squat it on down and press it on up. Feel free to put your feet wherever feels most comfortable for you, wherever you can get your hips down. As it turns out, my hips are actually really wide. Like, when people talk about having your feet at hip width, I always feel like my feet need to be a little bit wider. I think my bones are actually just a little bit wider than what somebody else might call hip width. So for me, I figured out what felt comfortable, and that's what I want to do rather than what I have to do. When you think about all the things that you do during the day that you think you have to do, by the way, when it beeps again, of course, we're going to do those side raise, high knees one more time. And here we go with those. Catch your breath. Side raise, high knees. Oh my gosh, this is real good for your balance today. You're noticing how many one-legged things we're doing. I love to do that on a day when we are also working on strength because it gives you that extra element of, okay, not only am I moving my arms and like strengthening my legs, but I'm really focusing on where my body is. This is excellent work for your core. You guys, you can get a nice strong midsection without ever getting down on the ground and doing crunches. When it beeps again, I'm going to do those squat presses for the second and final time. The things that you don't want to do, that you feel like you have to do, my friend, I want you to recognize that there are options. Here we go with squat presses, second and final time. I don't remember what day it was. <laughs> that, that was one of our helpful thoughts too. I have options. Sometimes, and I'm not even going to say you, sometimes we, I, I forget that I have options. I don't have to do anything I want to do about, I'm going to say like 94% of the things that I do. <laughs> like I, I have weeded out almost everything that I feel obligated to do, but don't really want to do when it beeps again, we're doing deadlifts. And I have, I have really been working on my mindset for the things that I feel obligated to do and technically I want to, and I know I want to, but I don't always feel like I want to. Here we go with deadlifts. <laughs> You guys, mindset, mindset work, it is ongoing. Think about pulling in your core. Your back is nice and straight. You push your booty back, 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 back. You pull your booty forward, forward, forward. Now, here's the thing about things that you think you have to do. Very, very, very frequently, we think that we have to do them because somebody else wants us to do them or needs us to do them or we've always done that and therefore, if we don't, they're going to have a problem with that. You are absolutely correct. Somebody might have a problem with you not doing something. And that might be okay. When it beeps again, we're going to do peekaboo side steps. Now, I'm not giving you a relationship advice. <laughs> I'm not giving you job advice. I'm not trying to tell you, oh, just stop doing everything that you have been you know, doing for the rest of your life. Here we go with peekaboo side steps. We're going to side step and together and sidestep and together. During the peekaboo, your elbows are at shoulder height. Your hands are there for, uh, for me, just slightly above my eyebrows. We're opening our elbows and closing our elbows, really thinking about opening wide and closing tight. Every time we move, we're thinking about having our core pulled in nice and tight. This work is coming from not just your shoulders, but also the middle of your back. If you feel it in your lower back, you can drop your weights. My friend, you never have to lift the same amount of weight for every exercise. Some exercises you might go lighter, some exercises you might go heavier. Here we go with deadlifts for the second and final time. Pull in that core. Let me turn to the side so that you can see. I push my hips back. I pull my hips forward. I am changing, not my center of gravity, because my center of gravity is right here in my abs, my core, but my butt moving back, technically speaking, throws me off my balance. I really have to think about where my feet are, really dig my heels into the ground to keep myself, my body, centered even while I am moving both back and forward at the same time, hinging my torso forward and my hips back when it beeps again, doing those peekaboo side steps for the second and final time. The thing about deciding for yourself that you do the things that you want to do means that sometimes, here we go with those peekaboo side steps, sometimes it actually means that you're going to stop doing things that you don't want to do. And sometimes that means that there are consequences. And sometimes you might want 
to do the mindset work in order to figure out how you might want to do things. Now, here's something that, I mean, for example, something that really only affects you, technically speaking. When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing split stance flies. So it doesn't matter which foot you step forward with. I'm going to try really hard to step forward with my left foot first just to get it over with because I know that my right foot will automatically try to step forward. But I'm going to step forward with my left foot. We're going to have our hands just hanging down, palms facing each other. And then we're going to fly our arms out to the side. This is middle of the back work. Okay. For me, left foot forward, right foot back. Center yourself, core is pulled in nice and tight. Arms are just hanging with palms facing each other and then palms face the ground. You might not be able to get your palms or your arms up high enough for your palms to face the ground. Wherever you can get to without shrugging your shoulders up towards your ears, that's exactly where you should go. My back foot, I have my toes on the ground but not my heel. That's a flexibility issue for me. And again, for me, this is a little bit more of a challenge on my balance, therefore, I like to challenge my balance. I'm not always great at it, but I like to challenge it. When it beeps again, we are doing three point crunches. Gonna have the weights on your shoulders. Gonna bring, you are gonna start with your elbows out wide and then we're gonna crunch our elbows in and bring up one high knee at a time to have all three points crunching. Oh, in the middle, <laughs> just like that. We'll alternate between which high knee crunches. Again, this, my friends, how we get a nice strong midsection without getting down on the ground. This is a crunch. You notice that, right? It's a crunch. And you know where the work is? I love this. You know how when you're crunching down on the ground, bringing your head towards your knee right here would be where you're resisting gravity? Well, with this standing crunch, you're actually resisting gravity when you're standing back up. The bigger part of the move is where you're doing the work. Yeah, that's how you can actually get, let's say it, a six pack of abs. Here we go with that split stance flies. I'm gonna let my right foot come forward. Whew. My left foot back, palms facing each other, palms facing wherever they can get to, really thinking about pulling in your core, thinking about bringing this work right into the middle of your back. Have in your mind's eye, see if you can bring your shoulder blades together. You can't, by the way, they're not supposed to touch, but thinking about bringing them together, like, like just pretend like there's a, I, a long time ago when I first became a certified personal trainer, there was some visual, I think it was, I think it was just picture somebody has their hand on your back and you're trying to squeeze their fingers. It was something as simple like that. that that's what you're visualizing is bringing your shoulder blades together in a way that would squeeze somebody's fingers if they had their hand on your back. Here we go with those three point crunches for the second and final time. Elbows out with dumbbells right here at your shoulder and then elbows together, squeeze into a crunch. When it beeps again, I'm gonna start talking about this already. We're doing wide open side kicks, which means that we're gonna have our hands starting about chest level with your elbows out to the side, kind of like they are right now actually. We're going to open our hands nice and wide, which means that when your elbows are up that whole time, it's a lot like those peekaboos, you're actually drawing from the middle of your back for the entirety of the exercise. If you'd like to have your hands a little bit lower, that will reduce some of the work. You can also drop your weights. You can modify, moderate this thing any way you want to and make it your own. You don't have to do anything. Okay, here's what I was talking about. Here we go with wide open side kicks. Here's what I was talking about. Oh, by the way, we're also, we're also raising one leg out to the side. Yes, elbows are wide, hands open and closed, but also the leg comes out to the side. I know that we, when we are losing weight, we think, oh, I have to eat a certain way. I have to eat this number of calories or I won't lose weight. And I understand that that feels like such an imperative, but when you think about whether or not you want to, do you want to eat a certain way? Do you want to reap the benefit of this? Do you want, I'm gonna call it the consequences of those actions? When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing a curtsy press up. Now I'm not coming down into a full curtsy lunge. It's much more of like a, a back step press up. I'm gonna step way forward. Hi, how are you? <laughs> gonna come down in a little bit of a curtsy while pressing up. Whichever leg is going behind you, that same arm is pressing up overhead. If you got started the other way, it really doesn't matter. I like to do this on the same side. Sometimes I go cross body, sometimes I go same side because this one is actually really drawing from that side of your abs and obliques from both directions at the same time. It's trying to stabilize your leg in one direction and trying to stabilize your arm in the other, which means that you're really working that middle my friends, this, oh my gosh, this, by the way, is the last of our pairs. So we're going to do those wide open side kicks one more time and this curtsy press up one more time. You have done such a great job on this workout. But here's the thing. 
thinking that sometimes we might not want, here we go with the wide open side kicks. We might not think that we want to do like the immediate thing. Like that really is the hard part. I don't necessarily want to eat, you know, X number of calories. I don't necessarily want to go to bed, but I want to feel rested when I wake up in the morning for sure. I want the weight loss result. I want to feel good. I mean, I mean, that's what I want more than anything. Isn't that what you want too? Sometimes that means that we do the mindset work on the, the more immediate thing and tell ourselves, frankly, yeah, I do want this. Versus telling yourself, I have to. When it beeps again, doing those curtsy press ups for the second and final time. Because, and here's the only reason why. When you tell yourself, hi, I'm gonna step up nice and close again for those curtsy press ups. I really don't like accidentally kicking the glass case or the gray chair. It's not a, a big thing that I enjoy doing. I don't want to do that. So I would much rather practice doing this a little bit closer to the camera. You guys, when it beeps again, we are done. We are not quite finished though. I'm gonna put my dumbbells down. I've got one final thing for us. It's 45 second interval of star balance. I would rather focus, for me personally, I would rather focus on my balance than trying to figure out where my arms are and whether or not they can handle the weights. So I'm putting my weights down. You help yourself. You don't have to do anything. What do you want to do? You know, I think that's honestly one of the hardest parts about this particular helpful thought. Star balance means that we have our hands up overhead. We're gonna tip one way as far as you can recover from. That might be an inch or two, or it might be all the way over. I know I've told this story before, but it still cracks me up. I used to call these plus signs. And then I realized that I was never ever in a million years gonna get all the way over into a plus sign. <laughs> and that's when I changed their name and they became so much more fun. I don't have to call these plus signs. I made a slight change that felt so much better. Maybe there's a slight change that you can make to your calories, to your sleeping schedule, to your water, to your exercise, to whatever that turns it into something that you want to do instead of something that you think you have to. Here's what I was telling you. The reason that I have to, let's go ahead and put those dumbbells all the way down. I'm gonna turn off the timer because that was it. My friends, come on, there it is. When you tell yourself I have to do something, how do you feel? Let's go ahead and do some arm circles. I personally feel nothing but pressure. I have to do this, that, or the other thing. I have to feels lousy every time. And you know, we've talked about this, that's how you know when something is an unhelpful thought. When you tell yourself you have to do something, I'm not gonna say that you have guaranteed that you won't do it, but you've, you've not given yourself a very good chance of following through and doing it long term. How about that? That was a little bit nicer way of saying it. You're probably not gonna do it. Let's go ahead and open up. Ah, that feels so nice. You know what else feels nice? Close it up and give yourself a hug. Oh, and a pat on your sweaty back. You don't have to, but if you'd like to, I'd like you to do that. My friends, you did an amazing job today. Oh my gosh, I feel stronger already. I feel good and I hope you feel the same because today is the first of this month's five day series. I have four more videos coming for us this week and I'm so excited for all of them. Thank you so, so, so much for working out with me today. Before you go, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow.